Sorry for the interruption, folks, but breaking news from San Jose, California. Carlos Cobal was just named DBI Sales Associate of the Year. Coming in first place in margin with a 24% increase versus last year. Number two in sales with a 13% increase versus last year. And number two in quality with a 0.18 defect level. Let's see the reaction out on the street. Let's go to Dave Chow, our on the street reporter in downtown San Jose. Thanks, Dave. Reporting live in downtown San Jose, we're at the world famous O'Flaherty's in San Pedro Square. We're gonna go inside and see if we can find Dave before he starts drinking too much. Let's go. Excuse me, young lady, gentlemen. There is Dave right now. Dave, uh, uh, what? how you doing? Uh, did, did you hear the what? good news? Who? What? Are you okay? Yeah, 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 yeah. Did yeah. you hear the good news? Oh, uh, what news, what news? Carlos won sales rep of the year and for San Jose. Carlos? Yes, you're hey, rep you, for DBI. A useless cunt. He actually won fucking something, that lad, did he? Yeah, absolutely he did. Carlos is by far the best rep. How the fuck did he win that? Well, he won it because he got second in quality, second in sales. Quality? Yes, quality. The steal to that fucker. What? He doesn't even fucking shower that lad. Well, I swear, he showed up here fucking last week. He was fucking hammer drunk. Hammer drunk, so he was. Are you sure? Ah, oh, he's a fucking new. He's a fucking weirdo. Well, he's a fucking weirdo. Okay, so his drinking problem aside, okay, what does he bring to your business? What's he bring? What does he bring to your business? He's, does he increase your sales at all? He brings good whiskey sometimes. Well, well, you're no you're no stranger to the bottle either, Mike. Ah, uh, I suppose Carlos, he's not he's not a bad old lad. He's not a bad old lad, Carlos. He's not too bad. He's not too bad. You know, he's fucking ah. Uh, I know Carlos a while now, he's a nice, nice fella, nice fella, nice mm -hmm. fella, so he is, you know? Very what nice. if I told you that he had a 24% increase in margin? That's dollars, right? You don't bring cases to the bank, you bring dollars to the bank. Up 24% for the entire year. He's 24 years old. That's pretty good, right? He fucking looks older than that now. When was his birthday again? August 20th? No way, no way, no way. Fucking Carlos, huh? Just, he's, he's older than he looks, huh? Much older. Ah, huh, fuck, huh? Jesus. He's a gas man, though, isn't he? So in closing, if there's one more thing you can say about Carlos's performance for 2013, what would it be, Dave? You know what, our Friday's great Irish public. You know, we got a stranger here but once. We got great wine, beers, uh, potatoes, fucking chips, whatever you want, curry, whatever you want. We got it. A Flaherty's, you know what? That's the way to go with Carlos. Carlos wants to do it his way. Let him do it his way. Any way he wants to do it, that's the best. Chimay, fucking Blue Moon, Coors Light, whatever you want it. Carlos has got it. He's a great man. Fair play to him. I don't think anyone can say it any better than that. <laughs> Thanks, Dave. Looks like you have your hands full out there. Let's see what other reaction there is from his customers. Out to you, Dave. Good evening. My name is Dave Chow. And I am the news reporter for DBI. We are here today at Single Barrel, world famous Single Barrel in downtown San Jose. I am standing here with Cash, the owner. Hello. And Toma, the bar manager. Hi. We are here today to discuss Carlos being the sales associate of the year. Did you know that he won this prestigious award? Who's Carlos? That's impressive. Did you know that he was first in revenue? That's. That's interesting. I, I didn't realize there was revenue involved with what Carlos was, was doing. He pretty much just drinks beer out of the back of his truck most of the time when I see him. Yeah, he's good at that, though. I do see him on a weekly basis, um, but he just kind of appears out of nowhere, and it's a little creepy because he kind of jumps from door to door, and I never really know where he's going to show up at one time, so it's a little unnerving. I'd have to say. Unnerving. Okay, well, since quality is very important in the beer industry, um, how do you think he did in quality? Our records show that he finished in second place. From Pittsburgh? Pittsburgh, because I'm a, I'm a pirate. He's, he's pretty funny. Uh, well, second place, you know, they say, if you're not first, you're last. You yeah. It's uh, it's still really nerve-wracking at the fact that he just kind of jumps out on a weekly basis, you, and I'm trying you to. Said that, you said that already. 
But it's really, I think he should make note of that. He should announce himself before he just appears. A theme song would be nice. I'm not sure what you guys are doing over there. Well, but you quality step up your game. is very important, okay? Mm -hmm. So is he checking kegs and rotation? Uh, he does, but I got to make a note when he shows up into the walk-in because I'm afraid when he's trying to move around the kegs, they're just going to fall on him, and if I don't keep track, he'll just appear with his hands sticking out of the kegs the next week, and I'll never know that he's just gone. Uh, awkward. Well, the keg is a little taller than him. It's not his fault, but he tries hard, you know. Uh, what weighs more, Carlos or the keg? 165 pounds. Your thoughts? Well, it depends on whether or not he's had breakfast. I hear he, he likes to eat weird things for breakfast. Two breakfasts. Two breakfasts. Really? Is it two? It's like is second breakfast. Huh. Well, tell me what Carlos has brought to your establishment that really made your business grow. <laughs> I literally growth, have nothing. Growth is something that maybe he needs to work on. Is a growth? Bit? So you're saying that he needs to work on growth because he's short? We're making short jokes essentially because he's not tall. He's vertically challenged. I think we're, okay? yeah. Some people are very sensitive when it comes to that subject matter. Don't get emotional about this. I didn't start growing until my emotional. senior year. Okay, so he just got his pubes. They're green. Your thoughts? Cha vertically challenge people? It's, uh, they're nice, but at a distance. At a distance. Little tiny hands. Smells like cabbage. Well, on that note, this is Dave Chow signing out from DBI News. I stole Carlos's hat. It's his St. Patrick's Day hat. Back to you, Dave. Thanks, Dave. Looks like Halloween came in February this year in San Jose instead of October. Let's take a break from some interviews and let's go out to some sports. First, let's start with bullfighting. move on to entertainment. American woman, stay away from me. American woman. It looks like Carlos is a ladies man. Are those the catfight girls? I believe they are. Outstanding job, Carlos. Let's move on to music. Is that Kid Rock? Rock and roll. While we were trying different things, and we were smoking Excellent job, Carlos. Looks like he will be spending the summer with Kid Rock, drinking lots of Coors Banquets. Now, let's go back out on the streets to our live reporter, Dave Chow. We are live in downtown San Jose in the back patio at Original Gravity. I'm Dave Chow, I'm your DBI news reporter. So, Rob. Oh, hi. <laughs> hey, Dave. Hi. How you doing, man? You okay? Uh, yes. Yeah, another another day in the office. You just drinking that that DVI beer. It's good. Did you hear that Carlos won Sales Associate of the Year? <laughs> no shit. Yeah. Oh, that guy's great. Yeah, I know. He shows up usually like he comes in about noon. We're open at thirty. He comes in about noon. He's like, let's do some shots. I'm like, it's okay, and we do. And I mean, and then we talk a little business, and it's 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 good. It's good. You know, he's really he's, he's great. What does he do for your business, though? Ah, uh, man. Let's see. Uh, then around 3 o'clock, he comes in. Um, and about that time, I'm ready for the real deal. So uh, we've got about half a bottle left. Uh, we go ahead and drink that, and <laughs> it's just a good old afternoon. Well, I mean, how's he doing? Is he bringing crowds in? Crowds. Uh, last time there was a crowd here, Carlos came in. It was funny because ca he came in, and then they left. <laughs> yeah. I see that this side is pretty packed, but uh, what do you think about the rest of the establishment? I mean, yeah, like you can see, we're pretty, we're pretty busy. We're pretty busy, yeah. Well, you're sitting on the table. Maybe that's why no one wants to come sit over here. Well, I don't know. I'm I, Like I said, I'm drinking, drinking my DVI beer, and we're doing good over here. 
Very good. Well, I mean, how do you feel about quality? Because Carlos finished second in quality out of 25 people, almost a perfect record for he the entire year. He is the best, and I'm glad you brought that up. <laughs> quality is Carlos's middle name. It's Carlos Quality Carvalho, and let me tell you why, okay? This guy comes in, everything he does, it's quality. <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, you know, Rob, I'm actually talking about the quality of the beer, not actually his process when he, again, he comes to sales. Oh, yeah. I mean, we line him up. The beer, it's so good. <laughs> yeah, 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 you know, you're not drinking this this piss, piss water. You're drinking this great beer, and it gets the job done, and Carlos gets it done every time. Well, in, in, any closing words you want to, you know? Yeah, about Carlos yeah, and the great I do, job that I do. Throughout the whole year. It's almost 8 o'clock now, and he's not here. He should be here at any moment. So if you got, could call him and let him know it's time, to, it's time to drink some more. All right, Rob. Well, this is Dave Chow reporting live from downtown San Jose. And after that conversation, I think it's time for myself to have a beer, too. Well, let's hope Dave was kidding. Here at DBI News... We do not drink on the job. Let's go out for some more interviews, shall we? Thanks, Dave. Well, we are back in downtown San Jose, and after searching the entire town for the owner of Good Karma, Ryan, we've actually found him here in his favorite tattoo parlor. So, you're a hard man to find, Ryan. How are you doing today? Dave, I'm doing fantastic. How are you doing tonight? I could not be any better. So. Um, hopefully you're not too uncomfortable in this setting. It looks like it's a little cold in here, but we are here today to talk about an, an award that Carlos just won. Did you hear about it? I did, I did. You he know, Carl Sales Associate of the Year. How exciting is that? I'm incredibly enthused for Carlos. He has been unbelievably helpful for us. He's done such a great job year after year, and to finally get an award of this caliber, we couldn't be more proud. And how long has he been your sales rep? He's been our sales rep for seven years now, and without him, I don't think I could be in the place that I am now without him. Well, you are known as one of the godfathers of craft in San Jose. I don't mean to make you blush, especially without wearing a shirt. Okay? I might be blushing, thank and, you. Okay, and it's understandable, okay? But understand that Carlos has learned so much from you. Have you learned anything from Carlos? I've learned how to, I've learned how to be a better account for DBI and to be better, just a better beer bar because of Carlos. I can't thank of, can't thank of enough. So okay, so getting sales rep of the year. Okay, this is how we did it. He was number one in margin, plus twenty four percent. That's dollars. Okay, Jeez. amazing. He did come in second place in case sales, which was up thirteen percent. Okay, but you bring dollars to the bank, not cases to the bank, right? And in quality, he ended up in second place. Oh, out of twenty five sales reps, that's absolutely phenomenal. He was quality first in my book. Very good, okay. So what are we doing here today? I love Carlos and I just, I couldn't think of a better way to embody his excellence than to live with it forever. Oh my God, that's, that's what you call dedication, that's what you call love for Carlos. That's he what Carlos has done forever for me, and ever. That's outstanding. So in closing, if there's one thing you can say about the greatness of Carlos, what would it be? To another seven years and beyond. Wow. That's much love, brother, huh? We love Carlos. Outstanding, man. Very good. We got good. this. We got this. All right. Thanks, Dave. Well, I'll tell you what. Reporting live from downtown San Jose, Ryan from Good Karma, the godfather of craft in San Jose, has a tattoo of Carlos on his arm forever. Well, Dave, back to you. Now that is dedication. It's obvious that Carlos has a phenomenal relationship with all of his retailers and all of our retailers today had very good things to say about him. Coming first in margin, second in sales, and second in quality made him 2013 San Jose's Associate of the Year. It should be noted that in 2012, Carlos came in second place, almost back to back perfect years. Thank you very much, Carlos, for everything that you've done for DBI San Jose. You are a true, true company man. Thank you. This is Dave Chow with DBI News. Have a great night.